Hello everybody once again and welcome to another video tutorial. This video tutorial is going to be on making your own watermark. This is how I make my own watermarks. There are different ways you can do it and uh, I hope you like mine. Once again I'm using Windows Vista 64-bit and Adobe Photoshop CS3 extended. So we're starting with our picture, the same picture of fire, and what I'll do is I'm going to select text, my text uh, tool, drag out my selection. Make sure that you have it on the font that you want and the size font that you want and color. Now you've seen everybody's copyright symbol. I'm going to tell you how to do that right now. You're going to hold down the alt key and on your keypad just type in 0169 and there's your copyright mark. Go ahead and insert your copyright, whatever you want it to be. There we go. I'll use this. Adjust the font size a little bit. And select the check mark key to register it. Now, this is not this is pretty a pretty intrusive uh, watermark, but I'm going to show you how to make it blend into your photo. What you want to do is choose fill. You can lower it all the way down, or just so you can barely see it. It's up to you, your choice. Come over here to your effects button. Down at the bottom, add a layer style. Choose that bevel and emboss. This is how I do it. You can choose to do a drop shadow, inner shadow, so forth, whatever you like. Here's my bevel and embossed. And you can already see some of the changes that have been made to it. Go ahead and make any changes that you wish. Just for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and choose this and click OK. You can see your effects. Now you can either lower it all the way down. You can uh, you can see my fill is at zero percent. So if you hide your effects, you're not even going to see the text. Now you can move it around, make it larger, make it smaller, whatever you choose. And there's your watermark. That's the way I do it. It's simple. It's easy. It's transferable to other images as a layer. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, you can visit me at my blog spot or at my smug mug. Thanks for watching.